So what I want to work on a little bit today is working out of, uh, we're working on Mushidori, right? And uh, working this particular lock and we're going to work from like the clinch. So it's like, you guys have seen like the jujitsu hold or the judo hold, the clinch, right? So that's what we're going to be working out of. Before we really get into the technique that I would like to work with you guys, let's talk about Mushidori real quick and how you would actually get the technique. So fundamentally about Mushidori, ultimately you want to make sure that this arm goes over the top. You're going to go put the hand down for me so this one here, just so that you get the picture here. And when you rotate, you want the elbow coming up like that. You want to make sure they get that foot moving over. There you go. And then you... If you need to, you can kick the leg out, lift the elbow up, going this way. So it puts a lot of pressure on the shoulder joint, so it's a shoulder lock. Let's just say for the sake of a demonstration of a basic fundamental idea of Mushidori, I'm going to just kind of strike down with a shuto, go over the top, move my body, my taijutsu, I'm angling off, and then I move this way, right? Now, for a destructive purpose, watch this here. If I'm here, and again, let's say I use that shuto to strike here, I strike down, I go over the top, and I'm coming up this way, don't go to the ground, okay? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drop to my knee and watch the position it puts him in when I lift up and I drop. See how that just really, if he's not going, you're really putting pressure on that shoulder as you're coming down. The way that I would like to work on it today from the clinch, um, and again, different people call it something different, classical jujitsu um, or taijutsu, we call it kumiuch, which is kind of the term that we use a lot in here, kumiuch, we're grabbing on each other. Other martial arts call it the clinch. Some people just blanket call it like the jujitsu hold or a judo hold. The big thing about Mushidori is you want to be able to capture that arm when he's pulling me in. Because if this arm is straight, let's say he put, push me this way. If he pushes me and I go over, it makes it very difficult. I got to do other techniques, whether it's throwing techniques or whatever. So what we want to do to actually get the application, let's put that arm down again for me. What I want to do just from a basic application, I want to catch that. I want to control that and catch that arm as he's pulling me in, when he bends that arm. So if I'm here and he bit, pull me in, that arm bending is what gives me the opportunity of getting that. So to practice this functionally and how, we, how can we truly apply these taijutsu locks, right? How can we apply our taijutsu and the clinch? How can we apply our taijutsu versus jujitsu or whatever that they're trying to do from this clinch, from these holding positions, you've got to be able to feel that energy, whether they're pushing you, pulling you, turning you, twisting you, and each one of those different directions that they're doing gives you a different option as to what's going on. So in this scenario, it's specific, he's pulling us in and we're shooting in to get this particular lock. When he pulls me in, if I go ahead and do it again for me, there we go, and I go over the top, I want to get this. Look at where this hand is. He's right there. So I have to be very concerned about that. So what we want to do, when I'm here, when he pulls me in, go ahead, I'm going over the top. I want this arm to claw the face. I want to disrupt that face. So we've got Shako Ken here, and as I claw and I push, then I've got this. I'm moving away from that. He can't really punch me from there, right? Now from here, once I get the lock, I want you guys to turn the body. We're going to turn, I'm going to go into Oso Togurai here, so I can lock, I'm going to press here, and as I step through, I'm getting that takedown. Notice I still have the lock. I'm stepping over, and I want to sit on the hip so he doesn't really move around, and then you're getting that lock. The Shako Ken stays on the face the whole time. You want to strike, and then squeeze into the face as much as you can, and then drive him down. He pulls me in, claw the face, up, and as I'm pushing up, his hand's here, I'm going to step, take him down, step across, and lock. What I want you guys to do, I know the camera's going, hold on. I'm giving you guys, this is the, this is me putting a drop into the water. If I drop the water, what happens? We put a drop in the water, what happens to the water? Ripples. ripples. You guys are going to be the ripple. We're doing this technique, and all I'm doing is putting a drop in the water. You guys are going to practice this technique, and as you practice the technique, I want to see what you guys can do from it, and how you guys can grow from it, and what you can do with it. So we're going to see how you guys can put your little flavor on it, because all of you guys move differently. You guys have different ways of moving, and things that you see, and how you guys want to capture or move certain ways. So let's we're going to practice this technique a few times, 
that I want to see you guys grow from these strategies and principles and see what you guys can come up with too.